William Hilliard, and um, I'm a junior here at uh, Alabama State. And for my mini documentary, I, um, I chose a topic about single parent homes and how it affects, you know, children and also just the family in general financially. Um, I know from my personal experience, me being um, a single, uh, a part of a single, you know, household, single parent household, I know it was hard just for my mom to be able to provide for me. She had to have two jobs. And even with that, it wasn't probably enough, you know, but she made it happen somehow. But anyway, I, 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 I interviewed my mom because she can, you know, relate and, and, and really tell you how she overcame that, how she was able to, you know, go through that, t you know, rough time. You know, that's a rough time to 15 years struggling and, and, and not knowing, you know, that's 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 crazy. And then, you know, how life is stuff comes and hits you throughout that 15 years. So it's not just money problems, it's, you know, personal stuff too. So it's really getting her perspective. And then, you know, after the, um, you know, after the video part, I will go in depth, you know, talking about, you know, you know, how it affects families financially and how Sometimes, in some cases, people came and go to school just because of on that reason. So yeah. All right. Um. Just tell me about like um. First, your your name and what do you do? I am Cheryl Hilliard. I am the mental health coordinator for Birmingham City School System. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a, um, a project. It's a, like a documentary. And um, I, I want to ask you about how it was just on um, my personal experiences, you know, um, me, how me and you being a single parent, how it was financially and, you know, stuff like that, how, how hard it was and stuff. Just, you know, explain how, how it was. Well, I mean, it was hard, but it wasn't anything that I, I couldn't handle. Um, for the most part, I've always kept two jobs. I've always worked two jobs. My main job with Birmingham City School System and whatever else I could do to make ends meet. Um, you participate in a lot of different activities and in order for me to make sure you were able to continue those activities, I did what I had to do. And that was always working a second job. And that's what I did to make ends meet. Okay. Um, like, um, especially like during, well, I know I was playing sports, you know, soccer. And I know it, and, and it was expensive, you know, just to play year round. How, how was that? And you know, we had to travel a lot. So how did you find, you know, ways to, you know, be able to do that? Well, I maxed out every credit card that I had. So um, because I know that that was something that you enjoyed doing, so whatever credit card I had, or, you know, if I had to borrow money, and sometimes I did, that's what I would do. Or, you know, if there was a time that we were playing and one of the other parents was going as well, I allowed you to ride with them. And that way it cut down on expenses to keep me from having to do a hotel room. So, you know, I just did what a mother was supposed to do. Mm, all right, what about, how about, um, 
you know, me being in college, how's that, you know, also affected you financially and stuff like that? Well, you know, you like to spend money. So, um, again, you know, I work all of the football games, high school football games, high school basketball games, indoor uh, track. And that's all uh, extra money for me to have when you're in need of something at school. So, again, always having a side hustle. And, you know, I like to cook, so I also cook on the side and I sell whatever I cook. And that's also extra income for both uh, you and I. So I just hustle and make things happen for you so that you can be the best person that you can be. What would you say for uh, any uh, single parent, single parent mothers or fathers that are, you know, about to have or expecting a child? What can you say to them? Like, give them any advice? Well, you can never prepare to become a parent. So for me, what I did was I said that I was going to raise you like my mom and dad did me. Um, you know, I kept you in church. Uh, kept you involved in activities. I was involved uh, in your school. I was always class um, um, parent. Um, I volunteered at the school. Um, you know, I, I created the um, uh, soccer, what was that that we did? The soccer club, the kick club for your high school, something that, you know, that they never had before. Uh, I felt like football and basketball, baseball, they all had booster clubs and soccer did. So um, I created that when you were in the ninth grade along with another uh, parent and it's been going on ever since we created it. So, you know, the key to, for me is always being involved and that's what that's the advice I would give to